What's up guys, Dark Dally here playing Ghost Recon Wildlands and today I want to do a little thing. I finally gathered all the uh, locations of the skulls for the Day of the Skull Challenge and if you don't want to take all the time to find them yourself, which trust me that would take a very long time, then uh, what I've done here is I've made this little video showing the locations of all 21 skulls so you can complete the challenge and get this nifty little skull face mask. I think it looks best with a hood as it kind of covers up the back of it there. It looks a little menacing and yet festive at the same time. First, I want to say I can't take credit for finding all of these locations. I did a lot of research online and put together this for the video, so I give credit to you guys, the Ghost Recon community, and so many of you who work together to find these locations and post them online. I've simply gone through, found the locations myself, and compile them for this video. All right, guys, there will be timestamps in the description below for the location of each one. There's one in each province, 21 in total. So let's get started. Okay, and so here I decided to get the first one right here in La Cruz, and this one was a little tricky. It's at San Rodrigo Monastery on top of the, like, the right tower as you're looking at the building. I'll show you here in a second. It was kind of tricky to get up there with a the helicopter. Here it is on the map. If you want to pause this and mark the coordinates, here we are in La Cruz at the San Rodrigo Monastery. And here is an outside view. It's that tower right there. You can land a chopper up there, but you got to be careful because, as you saw, there is SAM launchers. Now, here we are. The next one I got was at the El Sueño Mausoleum in Pucara. I actually forgot to show this on the map, but everyone should know where this is because you can see it from several zones away. And this one, of course, there's four SAM launchers around, so make sure that you take those out, or at least I took out three of them. That was good enough. Okay, and then the next one I got was here in Malka at the Holy Malka base in the church. It actually took me a second to find it because there's so many altars, but you want to go into the main cathedral, hang a left, and it's over here. I'm going to see it right now. You can see it up on my right. It's really hard to see because it's disguised with all the flowers. It's actually right there. And we'll show this one here on the map. And then next we are in Inca Camina. And we are, I think this is the Inca Camina base. Yeah, this is the Inca Camina base. I just showed the coordinates right there to the entrance. And then you want to come into the entrance, you know, once you've cleared it or whatever. And run up these stairs. Actually, took me a sec. I got kind of lost here. There we go. <laughs> Hang a left. Go up these stairs. It's kind of like right above the entrance in this little place right here. You'll see it on this shelf. Some of these were really hard to get to. <laughs> if you thought the San Rodrigo Monastery one was hard, wait till you see the San Mateo one. Okay, so anyway, next is a super easy one. Oh, there's the coordinates right there for the location in Camino. Okay, this one is super easy. This is the Shrine of Purity and Espiritu Santo. It's right near a rebel spawn point. You can just run right down there. I've been here a few times. This is a really cool place. It looks really cool at night. This one's a little disguised. It's over here by this statue right here. And this one was really not any trouble at all. This one, as soon as I looked at the coordinates and, and saw it, that it was at the Shrine of Purity, I knew exactly where I was going. Okay, and so for the next one, we are in Media Luna. This one, as you can see, I didn't even bother to clear the base. I just kind of snuck in because I didn't want to deal with Unidad. This is one of the ones that's in an Unidad base. It's at the top of this watchtower. I'll show on the map here in a second. It's that uh, it's that little Unidad base by that town on the river. And you can, well, just distract them like I did and run in the backside and climb up the tower. It's right here on your map. Go ahead and mark that if you want. And then as long as we're doing Unidad bases, let's go ahead and hit up Florida Oro next. This is at that prison down in, uh, there we go, right there in Florida Oro. I'm at the entrance right now. And when you come in the entrance of the prison, again, here I only cleared part of the base. I didn't want to clear the entire thing. You come into the prison, hang a left, and it's all the way back in the left in this cell right here is where I found my seventh skull. All right, and this is just the order I chose to do them in. There's the exact coordinates of the skull in Florida Oro. Next up is the one in Mohokoyo. This would be my eighth. And this one, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on top of this building. It's right in the center of that clear glass section of roof right there. And that's where this one was found in Mohokoyo. And I'll show that here in a second, exactly where it's at. There we go. Oh, so there you go. That's exactly where the one is in Mohokoyo. Coordinates for you. 
And oh, uh, here's the fun one. Here's the one in San Mateo. It's on top of this damn radio tower. <laughs> See how I, my chopper actually stuck there, by the way, and I was able to get back on it and fly away. Here's a, a little shot of how precarious this one is. I only I didn't really clear this base at all. I was just on easy mode. I just kind of flew in there and grabbed it. I didn't see the need to do any of these in tier mode. So that's the coordinates for that one. Have fun getting that. Maybe you might want to give a little bit of challenge and uh, base jump, <laughs> parachute into it. All right. And so the next one is Libertad. And this is at um, the Chemical Institute via B Gas. It's in that big building right here. Here's how you get to it from the entrance. You want to hang a left. Run up these stairs a couple of floors. Again, yet another one I didn't clear. Even not clearing these things, this was this took this this takes some time. So, and it's uh, up here in the left behind those soda machines on a bookshelf is where you will find the skull in Libertad, right there, a little flowery one. Okay, and so here we are in Monte Punchu. And this is at the little rebel campsite up on a hillside. I kind of had some trouble finding it oddly because it's right in front of me right there. There it is. <laughs> I ran around the tent. I cut that out. You didn't see that part. But yeah, it's right there in front of the tent at the rebel campsite. And here's the exact coordinates for you. All right, next we are going to Okoro. This one, I don't know who found this or how. Again, credit to the people who found these because I, I did some research online to find the coordinates for most of these. This is in the middle of a field in Okoro, very far uh, southern Okoro, down by Kamane's, if I recall. I'll show on the map here in a second. It's in that little feeding trough out here in this field. That's where we're at. That's the exact coordinates of where we're at. And we're just south of this farm, just up here. I forget what it's called. It's called, uh, uh, well, I don't speak Spanish that quick, but that's, that's what that's called. Okay, and so here we are in Via Verde. This one is another super easy one. This is at the uh, that tourist lookout. And it is a... Quite a nice view. It's right at the base of this cross at the lookout at the lookout in Via Verde. And there's the exact coordinates of that one. Okay, next we're going to Barvechos. And uh, this is the one that's on top of the pipes, which Ubisoft showed in their hints video. And I had a little fun getting this one, as you'll see here in a moment. Here's exactly where it's at. See it right there? So you gotta come up to the top of these tanks and run across these pipes. Now the tricky part is not to fall off. I almost fell off. My heart went into my throat right up here where I fell off this and I thought I was going to fall to my death. That ah, was a little close. So watch that when you come up here for this one for sure. And then here we are on the map. I'll show you if you want to pause this and grab the coordinates for the Barvechos one. All right. Next, we're headed off to Montioc. This one is right out in the open. As you can see on my mini-map there, there's tons of guys, but they're all below you in a mine. There's no guys anywhere around this. You can just walk up. It's just right here in this pile of barrels, really in the middle of nowhere in Montioc. There we are right there, and there's coordinates for that one. Okay, so the next one is here in Caimanes. We are at the top of the uh, Las Anguilla Wreck. There's a big ship there. You just want to run up here into the cabin. See, it's up there on that catwalk. Now, that catwalk took me a second to figure out how to get to. You want to come around this way, climb up on these boxes, climb up here. And here's the tricky part. It actually took me a second. Well, it's not tricky. It just took me a second. You can climb through this window, and that takes you onto the catwalk inside the top of the uh, cabin of the ship. And you can grab the Caimanes skull. That was number 16 for me. And here it is on the map. Exact coordinates of the skull. If you want to jot that down. All right, next we're in Tabac. I'm sorry, next we're in Agua Verde. This is not Tabacal. There we go. This is right on the beach in Agua Verde at a resort. Oh, the, that big resort, you know, in, in Agua Verde. And I didn't clear that at all, actually. I just swam up on the shore and snuck in and grabbed it. And it's right there. There's accordance for the Agua Verde. Now we're in Tabacal. Okay, this one has an entry point and an actual point where you get it. You want to enter the train tunnel about here. Note those coordinates, or at least that's where I entered the train tunnel. Run up this train tunnel. It's a bit of a run. It's about 300 meters up this tunnel, and it's right in the middle of the train track. It's a good thing that I grabbed it before a train came and crushed it. That's for sure. And then, so I showed you the coordinates for the, in, you know, where I entered the tunnel. Here's the coordinates for the actual skull itself in Tabacal. All right, now we're in Takwa. This one, actually, this is the first place I went in Takwa to look for. It was Yopil. 
there's not many like iconic places in Ottawa. So the first place I came was this, you know, the dog town and it's hiding right here underneath a bed. Kind of sneaky. That one was, that one was a little tricky to find. And then here's the coordinates for that. You'll peel, I guess it's how you say it in Ottawa. That's where we're at. Oh, finally two more left. Okay. This one right here, Kwani. Now in the hints video, it showed a tower, which everyone pinpoints as right here. And so everyone spent hours and hours and hours looking over here when in fact it's nowhere near there. This was the hardest one to find. It's actually way over here in the middle of nowhere in Kiwani. So I'm not sure why Ubisoft showed that watchtower in their video. At least that was the watchtower everyone said they were showing. It's actually right here by this cactus. I'll show that again on the map. I'll show the location of that here. That was number 20. There we go. There's the location of the Kiwani one just southwest of the Kwani Air Base. And now finally, at least the last one I got, my number 21 was in Romanzo. It was in, uh, right here in the church. Just ran up the stairs into the office and it's right here on this card table. And that was the last one for me, guys. All right, let's go, uh, let's go do the last part of the challenge. Oh, there's the coordinates for you. Let's go do the last part of the challenge and see what happens. Okay, guys, and now finally got all these. Let's return to the graveyard, and I'm actually not sure what happens here. So let's, this is the last step of the challenge now that we have all the skulls. So let's come back here and see what happens. Oh, we got some uh, festival music playing. Oh, look, they're all happy now. <laughs> they were so sad when you come here originally. They're all, like, crying and stuff. Look, they're all dancing and stuff. <laughs> well, I'm glad they're happy that... Uh, I traveled all over Bolivia to return their ancestors' skulls. Because even knowing where they're at, it takes a little bit of time. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Hopefully you found all the skulls. Hopefully it wasn't too much trouble. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I had I had fun making this even though it took a while, guys. It's been a pleasure. I'm Dark Dally. I will catch you all next time.